Alright, hello YouTube, this is Ahi. So this week I'm going to show you how you can get started with mixing in Pro Tools. And Ryan Harvey asked how to get started if he comes from another door and already knows basically how to mix in another software he's using Reaper. So I'm going to tell you how to start. This is basically the 101 of mixing in Pro Tools. So I just opened it Pro Tools. Usually you get something like this when you open and the first thing that you need to do is that you make a new session we are going to focus on just the mixing aspects of things so first thing that you need to do is that you need to go to setup and playback engine and here you will select the playback engine that you're going to use and here you select the buffer size and then here you also select the delay, delay compensation because by default it is not on in Pro Tools so that's basically what you need to get started it will restart Pro Tools and then you just go with that Alright, so then the next setup that you have to do is you go to I.O. setup. So here you set up your inputs and outputs and if you use any hardware insets you also set them here. But do notice that uh, Pro Tools is kind of archaic because if you want to use an insert you have to put both the input and output the same number. So input 1 and input 2 are the same. Alright. First keyboard shortcut that you need to use is command equals, which is between the mix and edit window. So you press it, you go between the mix and edit window. Let's import some tracks here. So import, file import audio. So here I have some stems. You can add or copy. The fuzz. So the difference here is that if you click add it reads it from the original place and if you select copy it copies it to the uh, audio folder. So for this demo I will use add and let's click done and then it asks do you want it to be in the clip list which is this here it might be say region list if you are using an older version or into new track. So let's do it from new track from session start. Alright, so here we have our session, and as we see, our naming is whatever it is. So here we have the name of the track. So we double click it, and then we can just name it. And now you can either press OK or you can press Next or press Command and right arrow, and left arrow goes to the other way. So this is BS, RG, LG. KB, LV, BV, and FX. All right. You can customize what you see here on bottom right corner here. You can select what you see. Usually what you need just for mixing is the insert slot A to E or F to J, and usually the send slot if it looks like this, you click on this hold down command and you select assignments and now you can see the sends A to E. Here we have our tracks. So if you want to select a track, you just click on the name. And if you want to select multiple tracks, you press down shift and there. And if you want to select just some tracks, you press down command. And on the left here, we have the track list. So if you want to hide all tracks, you can show just tracks that you want to see. All right, so let's first show all tracks. Now, if we want to say, select 
something but you already have a selection what you need to do is press down option or alt and it clears the selection so if you want to group these two what you need to do is you select those two and then you go to groups a new group or press command G and these are the rhythm so this is now our rhythm group now if I just move the sliders they are now linked and if I press down option on the volume bar it resets it to the zero and if I want to do like fine tuning with the slider I press down command and it becomes slower so if I have a group selected and I want to move just one I press down control in, in a Mac I don't remember what it's on PC I think it's Windows button so you press down control and then you can move one and then they are now still linked together to delete a group we just you can also suspend groups so now they are unsuspended and now they are working again all right so let's just delete this group One thing that, that you might use is that you want to make new aux tracks. So you go to track and new, and here you select stereo aux tracks. We don't have separate send or FX tracks like in Cubase. And in this window, you can make several of them uh, by pressing down first command. So you select the type with up and down arrow, uh, amount of channels on left and right arrow and if you press just the arrow keys you select a number of them so if I want to make four stereo auxes and then in addition I want to make one mono aux I then press command plus or press this plus here I just then make so first four, four stereo aux tracks and then one mono aux track and now they are here. Similar to, Re to Reaper and Logic, uh, Pro Tools uses buses for routing. If I want to route something to a bus, I just select bus 1, 2. And now this one is the input for bus 1 and 2. One thing that is different, so if I want to solo this, this doesn't play. So what we need to do is we press command here and it solo saves the solo button. And that's one of the quirks that Pro Tools has. If we want to select multiple of these to go to bus 1 and 2, we select off the tracks. So we first press on the first one and then press shift, go to the last one, then option shift and then go to bus 1 and 2. They all go to bus 1 and 2. But if you want to do it in a setting order, we press down command, command, option, shift. Then we select the bus 1 and 2. And we see that it's 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. And so here we would do the same thing. So we first select them all. Then command, option, shift. On the input, we select bus 1 and 2. We see the descending order here, and because this is a mono track, it doesn't come into the play. All right. I hope that most of you know how to use plugins. So you just select here, multi channel plugin. So th this is basic stereo and surround, and these are mono plugins, and these are IO plugins if you use inserts. And on the mono, you see only this plugin list. So basically, you just click on any of this big area to select the plugin. For example, this is the EQ that comes with the plugin. And here you see this small icon. So if you just press on the center, it opens the, and closes the plugin. If you want to open multiple, you have to uncheck this target button. So if you want to now add at a compressor so now we have two windows instead of just one so if we close both of these 
because Pro Tools uh, saves uh, real estate by having basically the same plugin working on the same window. So if we now uncheck this, we can have multiple windows on at the same time, or we can we just press down Shift and it removes uh, and it opens multiple of them with the target already removed. And if you want to remove them, you just press here where it says Insert Selector. You select No Insert, and that's it. And if you want to do it on all the tracks, on all the tracks. You press the option and then you select a plugin and now it's going to all the tracks that are the same type. So that was just option. But since we have selected these tracks, if I want to add a plugin only to those, I press down option shift and then select an EQ and the seven band EQ here. And that's what happens. And because this one is a mono, and these are stereo tracks, that's why this doesn't have an insert, so you have to do those separately. And if you want to remove them, same deal, so press down option, no insert. And if you want to bypass the plugins, you press down command, or you can press the bypass here. And if you want to bypass all the plugins in the same row, press down alt and command. And if you want to bypass only the selected plugins, so if we copy a plugin here, which you do it by first uh, pressing down option and then you just drag. All right, so as we see, we have this aux is selected. So if we press down option and command, it bypasses all the plugins. If we press down command, option, shift, it bypasses all the selected plugins. Automation modes are here. So read is the, you know, uh, read and touch. So touch always returns where it was. Latch stays where you leave the fader and write overrides whatever is there. All right, I hope that will get you started with mixing in Pro Tools. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comments below. And thank you for watching and make good music.